Hi, I'm Star. And I'm Cameron. <laughs> You're watching for a couple of gays, and it's tu not Tuesday. <laughs> we're used to saying it's Tuesday because we always make videos for Tuesday, but it is Friday because now we're making Friday videos. Yeah. And Tuesday videos. We didn't forget. We've just been busy. We're switching rooms around and all that, so. Yeah, because we're going to make the upstairs a nursery in yeah. one of our son's rooms. So we're all kind of swapping rooms, and we moved downstairs, so that was a chore. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah. So, sorry, guys. It's up late. But you can watch us all weekend. Yeah. Enjoy that. Okay, well, what's our topic? Something about social networking, dating, something, something. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the topic is, what is our view on social... Network dating. It sucks. Don't do it. Yeah, that's how she met me. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> let me fix that. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got luck. <laughs> we got lucky. We'll put it that way. There are a lot of weird. There was like, oh my gosh, those girls. Yeah. Like, ugh, horrible. Both, yeah. <laughs> For one, okay, we'll we'll each we'll each say the pros and the cons. Okay. Okay. I guess the good things is you can kinda talk to people, you know, ahead you know, like without like actually having to meet face to face and you can find out a little bit about them to know if you're even interested at all, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but I mean people make up all kinds of right. stories on the internet. Right. That's where I'm getting. I'm at my pros right now. Okay. Okay. Um, and you can, you know, like get to know people in other towns or whatever before, you know, so you don't have to drive for two hours, you know, whatever. Um, and, I don't know, there really aren't a whole lot of, I mean, other than there's a whole lot of different people in there, um, a whole lot of freaking weirdos. Yeah. Now we're going to get to all the cons. Um, really, you don't know who you're talking to because you can't see them. I mean, yeah, they post pictures and talk about themselves. But Is it really them? <laughs> trust me. They were not all telling the truth. So, um, I guess just if you do social network dating, be careful. Kind of like we said in one of our other videos, if they want to meet you in some, like, abandoned building or something, probably not a good idea. I went to your house. You could have killed me. Hey, you came to nice Lindsberg <laughs> in a nice little Swedish town. That's where the that's where the serial killers are, like, little towns. Well, you got lucky <laughs> with me and my shovel. I could have died. But she didn't. Instead, we got married. <laughs> End of story. No. Uh, do you have any certain stories, like, any certain people that you can think of off the top of your head that you <laughs> dealt with online? There weren't any, like, huge things that, I mean, like, not any in particular, it's just some of the people I would be talking to, I mean... They would say one thing and then, you know, like, talk, I mean, like, they didn't really have many pictures up. And they'd, you know, they would kind of describe themselves or whatever. And then they send a picture and it's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, okay, well, now I see why you didn't have any pictures on your profile. Um, That's not very well, nice. Not, but the, it's not their fault they're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, I mean, but that, but, but my point is, is you know, you don't really know who you're talking to when you're online unless you actually see them to know if you're, like, attracted or not or whatever. True. Until you actually go on a date and see that they are who they say they are and they match their picture on the computer, because not everybody mm -hmm. did. So, um... Well, I have one friend that... I actually met online that uh, on a dating site, but we're actually still friends. Megan, the ones that the one that mm -hmm. we met um, when we went to Wichita. Um, I still talk to her every once in a while, and um, you know, there's I mean, really crazy people. I'm not exaggerating. Oh yeah, like <laughs> like where where do these people come from? Seriously, but um. 
a lot of it's just booty call type thing. Yeah, that that was one of my bit cuz I've never been into that. And especially if you like haven't even met me and we're just talking on the computer. And yeah, so I was Yeah, I was there's like, okay, yeah, like, you probably have herpes. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of that though. Um that's all that they're interested in, so I guess if you're into that, you might be into the whole internet dating thing. However, but. however, we got lucky because we met on Plenty of Fish. Yeah, but com. I said it before. I mean, I literally was getting ready to delete my. Account. So was I, and that's what's weird because we were gonna delete our profiles and then started talking to each other. Because mm-hmm. I had about had enough. But I'm glad we did yeah. it. I was on what, Plenty of Fish. That's where we met. And then uh, Zooks was it Zooks. Zusk. <laughs> Zusk. Whatever. I was on that one, and, uh, there was another one. I don't know. My mom made a profile. For you for or me? for her? Oh. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I mean, I would probably recommend, like, meeting people through friends or family or something like that. But I mean, like, I guess one pro is, like, when when you live in a small area, I mean, like, ours, our town isn't, like, super small, but it's small compared to actual cities. Yeah. Um, so there aren't really a whole lot of known gay people. So, I mean, around areas, you know, where you're kind of in a smaller area or not as many people. I mean, being on a dating website, you know, gives you a few more options and then you actually know who's out there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to put that. (laughs) But, I mean, because if you live in BFE, I mean, you really don't. Yeah, but, I mean, you could expand your searches, and, I mean, I was talking to people in Kansas City, and... No, I mean, if you're not on a dating website. Oh. Like, if, you know, if you just live out in the middle of nowhere, and you aren't doing online dating, how are you going to meet anybody? Like, I mean, you'd have to drive to Wichita or whatever, drive an hour, Mm -hmm. just to go see if you can meet somebody randomly at the mall. So. Yeah, that's fun. So, I mean... Fun. Yeah. So, I mean, at least, <laughs> at least online, you know, you can kind of, you know, see who's kind of in your close areas. Yeah. Or if you're looking to move, you can see if there's anybody somewhere, I don't know, somewhere else. I think it'd be really hard to fall in love with somebody, like, just by talking to them on the computer. Oh, I know. And people do that all the time. And I just, I don't understand that. Like, how can you love somebody you never met? Yeah. Because, you know, what they tell you could be, like, I mean, I could say I was, you know, anybody, and make anybody believe it, (laughs) Mm -hmm. you know? It's crazy. I think Brad Paisley made a song about that. That he's so much cuter online. Oh, yeah. But, I don't know. That's kind of our views on it. Yeah. I mean... Definitely, if you're going to do online dating, be careful and make sure you're talking to who you're supposedly talking to. Um, go to, I don't know, well, that... Just be careful. Yeah, just <laughs> bottom line, be careful. But um, even though we were both going to delete our profiles and we were both glad we didn't quite yet because that's how we met. Yeah. And then we wouldn't be married. And making, and making a baby. <laughs> we still need boy names, by the way. Yeah. I like Reese. That's cute. River. <laughs> I like Reese. Yeah, yeah, Reese is cute. Amber said Reese today. I was like, oh, I like it. Reese is cute. Yeah. I still like Regan, but I don't know about for a boy. It might be cute, though. 
Samantha picked Rhea Ann for a girl. Yeah. She yeah, she picked Rhea and I she just, just kinda came up with it. I I really like that actually. Yeah. And then I, I definitely want the baby to have your middle name if it's a girl. So it would be Rhea Ann. It's gonna have your middle name. Right. Poor thing. Anne's not a bad middle name. My middle name is horrible. No, I am not passing it. No. Can I tell everybody on YouTube? What no. It is? <laughs> I know where you sleep. <laughs> I know where you sleep. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired though. I've been up. Well, yeah, we've been up. We've since been up four. since four, so we've almost we've been up about twenty hours at this point. Drove all day long, and I fought with children all day. Long. Yeah, to keep it mildly. <laughs> but yeah, it's been one of those days. But it's Friday, and we can sleep in tomorrow. Yep, amen to that. You make tofu scramble for breakfast. You want me to? Make burritos. Sure. Okay. Anyways, I think we're going to bed. Yep. It's about that time. It is midnight. Yeah. So technically it's Saturday, but shh, don't tell anyone. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Don't tell Chantal and Carrie. Oh, you just did. <laughs> Love you guys. We'll see you Tuesday. When it's actually Tuesday, not Friday. When it's really Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.